This is day six of making one YouTube video every single day until I make my first 1K from this YouTube channel. Currently, we're at 821 subscribers, which means that in the last six days, we've gained almost 90 subscribers. So thank you to all that have been watching and that subscribed. Just to recap, YouTube it requires that you hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in order for your page to get monetized. And so that's what I'm currently working on. I'll be keeping you updated with how it all goes and how long it takes. I, I'm willing to do it as long as it takes. I'm gonna post a video every single day until this happens. I hope it happens quick though. A little bit more about me, my name is Spencer Weber. I've been running my own business for the last three years now and I've loved every second of it. I, ma I made this YouTube channel because I wanted to share um, my experiences with running a business for those that are out there that want to start or grow their own business. So if you're into things like business, investing, money, entrepreneurship, or goal setting, then this channel's for you. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. In the last few videos, I've been sharing basic tips on how to start a business and some important things to do when you're starting out, such as opening a business bank account, keeping good records, and as well as just thinking about what type of business you wanna be in. The type of business that I do is I buy and sell couches online. I've sold over 1,500 couches in the last three years, which factors out to more than one couch every single day for the last three years. I'd say it's gone really well. I've grown a lot since starting, but I still have a long way to, to go to where I wanna be. So I'm gonna be documenting not, not only the growth of this YouTube channel, but also the growth of my business on this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing an experience that I had early on in starting my business and hopefully there's a few lessons that you can take away from it to help you avoid certain mistakes that I made when I was starting my business. So like I said, I buy and sell couches. And so the lesson that I have for you today is to under promise and over deliver. So what that means is when you're working with a potential customer, you want to set yourself up for success. You want to almost give them a lower expectation and then to exceed that expectation when you deliver on your product or service. Starting out, all of the couches that I would sell were used, and so they all had minor flaws. Some of them had little rips or stains, and none of them were perfect. But a mistake that I made starting out is I would make the couches sound better than they were. And so then when a customer went to buy one, they were a little disappointed, and I ran into this cycle of people being interested, and then when they came to look at it, they changed their minds and I didn't sell the couch. And so I quickly realized that when I made the ad for the couch online, to try and undersell how nice it was. So that way, when they show up to look at it, it's actually nicer than they think it is versus the other way around. And so whether you're selling a product or a service, be sure to under promise and then over deliver for the customer. So that way they come in with low expectations, but then they leave being really impressed with you and your business. Now it's important that you're passionate about what you're selling and that you're always positive about your work. But at the same time, you don't want to be overly positive to the point where the customer expects you to be perfect. So that's my thought for today. Um, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow along. I'm going to be making a video every single day this week and all the way up until we get monetized and make the first 1K from this YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow.